Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Nathan's Garage. I'm Nathan Kershaw. And what do we have on today? Well, we're going to drop the water, figure out some tires, and see if we can make the brakes work. So, let's get on. Answers on a postcard. Uh, the inside of the um, reservoir is kind of filled with a, well, has a coating of really thick green slime. Why? Let's get nipple cracking. No nipple seized. I know brake fluid and paint aren't the best friends in the world, and the um, passenger side rear backing plate is really really like flaky rusty all the paints lifted and all the other you know the other the other drum is fairly clean looking and both of the um calipers don't look like they've got stains anywhere so i think we're gonna have a leaking wheel cylinder on the passenger rear so as predicted flow to the front is good i'm just gravity bleeding right now just letting fluid flow through so the fluid's got further to go to the rear so tighten the front when, when i press the brake pedal squirts out of the fronts so they've got plenty flow um, so tighten the fronts now we'll see if we can get something out of the rears I keep asking myself why do I feel so tired oh <laughs> oh, oh my, my, my talents are, uh, are definitely wasted rummaging around underneath these cars okay so I guess you know where we're going now and as always I like to um, really advertise my sponsorship deals this is a new place i've started using uh for my uh <coughs> ad van kang swing schwang bing bang tires i love their tread wear and their feel mid corner and all that good stuff so we're going to go down to he's called north hollywood tire or something like that he's a good guy uh, and see if we can get a matching set and if we can't get a matching set we won't get a matching set. If the round, they'll do. But we struck out. It doesn't have any. Huh. I'm going to make a call. The plan is, the plan always has been to go bigger with the tyres, well, with the wheels on this car. But I thought I'll put these on, you know, and then in the future swap them out. But if it's going to be a pain in the arse finding stuff to fit it, after much pondering, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Nathan's Garage Official, you will have known yesterday, I ended up going in the direction of these Mustang 10 holes. One thing I hate about the XR is it really does look like a hovercraft right now because it's hovering well. But one thing I really hate about the XR is that the wheels are a fairly, they're not a high offset, but they're a higher offset than these. So they're pushed into the arches, really don't like that. And 16 inch ponies stick out at the front so they rub on the fender wells really badly. So one car that inspired me is this one. And that has 15 inch 7x15 10 hole Mustang wheels. Um, so I ended up picking these up for $80. 195 60 15s and 205 55 15s have a similar height, rolling radius, diameter whichever one it is so the goal is ideally 205 55 15s for the fronts well all around really if that's a weird size i wouldn't mind doing a bit of a tire stretch and doing 195 60 15s on these so we'll see anyway these are plasti dipped so this is the the style of these is the chp ssp um fox body police cars from the 80s they had a black outer, but this is a plasti dip, and it's really, really, really thin. So it's gonna be a pain to peel. So, see that? But it's really, really thin. So, did a bit of Googling, and apparently if I soak it in WD, and then power wash it, it comes off. So I'll peel as much as I can, and then power wash it, and hopefully they'll stay silver. Because one real driving factor, motivating factor for this car, is I kind of want to make it socially acceptable. I want Wife-tastic to look at it and go, that's a nice car. 
Uh, and I think silver wheels, she prefers silver wheels to black, are going to be a better option for life in general. So we're going to go silver, if it'll come off. If I get mad and it doesn't come off, who knows? It could completely change. If anybody fancies running any kind of Mustang rim on an XR, these are the bolts you need to run because they have a 60 degree mating face or seating face. So it's 12 by 1.5 with a 60 degree and say shoulder and that's how do I race? I race secure and that is the um, part number from Amazon I think it was like $12 for 20 this is so awesome it's totally working I put the high pressure head on the power washer going swimmingly well if you ask me been at it for about 40 minutes now I would say from that to that and uh, just let me reiterate or iterate because I've not said it so there's no re um, I'm not bashing plastic dip at all I really like the stuff and I'm completely mesmerized by the dip your car videos um, just I don't want it on here right now so I've rolled it back and forth so the tires have like you know popped out and like you know uh, sitting in their normal fashion backs are perfect it's only keep that size of tire in the back well I don't know it's very close no nah, I don't know so but the front yes that front is definitely going to be an issue <laughs> definitely need a smaller tire on there they say rubbing's racing right tire rubbing no oh the place I ended up finding the perfect tire setup for me was somewhere I found on Craigslist and it was a guy called Rafi at Tires You Love and they are on Van Nuys Boulevard in Van Nuys and I'm going to link um, well, I'm not going to link I'm just going to put all these details in the description down below and give him a call tell him that Nathan's Garage sent you or the guy with the weird XR40i so the 19560 had a hole actually in the sidewall so we can't use that so we're going full hot boy stancing stretching tires and we're going to go 185, 65, 15 on a seven inch rim on the front. Yeah, baby. Rafi is definitely kitted out for stretching tires. I've only ever seen those on the internet. But yeah, all the fancy kit, lovely. And here she is, out in her natural habitat, not on jack stands. Oh, the fan kicks in, lovely job. There we go, the Mustang 10 holes, which I love. They are awesome. I just think they suit the car so well. I'm so happy they're not black, they're, they're, they're the silver. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So they are, as I say, 205 60s, 205 60 15s, and 185 65 15. If you look here, you can see fits really well that's why I wanted the 185 or a 195 60 so it would stretch and the tire wouldn't belly out it'd go straight off the rim you know I know I know it's not good for handling and race car type stuff but to be honest with you this car's job sooner than that is going to be uh, driving slowly to probably a few car shows very happy So, where am I with my journey with depression? One big obstacle that has been overcome recently is the fact that my medication uh, got refilled from a different manufacturer and that had a pretty profound effect on its effect on me. I'd say it was about 20% as efficient. So I'm now back onto the original manufacturer's pill 
um, and we're getting back to this, a similar level of functionality. There's definite blips in the road. Um, I think the biggest thing that sticks out for me now is the word resilience. I feel that depression really affects your resilience. The other day I went to get tires on the original wheels for the car and I couldn't find them uh, you know two or three tire shops and it didn't take me that long to go to those shops but I felt utterly utterly defeated by not being able to get tires and that's unusual and I think moving forward you know I really want to move past that now that was a blip which would have sent me down a dark hole for several days and it seems something like something so small but it, it wasn't to me at that moment but it just stuck me it just got me stuck um, and I was able to just stay in that stuck place for I want to say like probably half a day it seems crazy to think back on it now and then you know move past it move through it so the, the first the first like probably three or four weeks were very 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 like euphoric with the new feeling and the way I felt and it's definitely like you know leveled off with a prescription change hopefully that's gonna get better but now I'm like kind of seeing these blips you know uh, and I still have go to my a couple of therapists for different things and coaches and obviously um, my wife who's amazing um, so yeah so I just wanted to give you guys an update it's good it's definitely work that I'm more than willing to keep putting in to walk this walk and go on this journey. Um, there's some good stuff in the pipeline right now. There's a lot of stuff percolating in my head career-wise for me. I want the YouTube channel to grow. It has to grow. It has to, it has to be in its place though. Hello, plane. It has to be in its place. Um, but I do want it to grow. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about merch uh, and, and attaching merch to the channel through Teespring so that's hopefully going to happen soon and there's definitely stuff in the works and it's exciting and it's good and it's positive and I'm going to be here for a while. Alright guys, thank you for watching this little depression bit. If you're suffering from the same thing, I, God, I wish I had words of wisdom. I really, really wish I had words of wisdom. I wish I could see things coming. I wish I could, you know, and, and then prepare and kind of dodge them. You know, if like it, it's like a train coming at you that you can't see. And I wish you could see that train and I could dodge it and get out of the way. Hopefully in time, I will be able to. And if I can find a strategy for doing that, then, you know, all the better for all of us. Um, but yeah, it's a journey. I'm here, I'm staying. Thanks for watching this bit. And after that earth-shattering, break-shaking high note, we shall end it there. It can't get any better, come on. She goes around the block, that is the first box ticked. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Um, and I shall see you next time. We have an ever-growing list for the car. The next which will be probably timing belt and brakes. And then we'll see where we go from there. Let's see if we can hit up a car show pretty soon. We have hit a snag on registration fees, which are way higher than I expected them to be. So we've got to deal with that, which I shall be going into in the next video. But for now, this is definitely happy days. See you next time.